I'll show you a video of what the Skype API pop-up looks like when you haven't told Skype API that it's okay to connect with Message Magic. Over here you see my Message Magic shortcut on my desktop. I'm double clicking it and opening it up. Okay, it's open. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a message, uh, a search pattern. And I have to hit add to bring it up here before I can search. That's a hot tip that most people don't get. Now watch as I hit the search how this little pop-up shows up. It says message magic.exe wants to use Skype. Click here to accept or deny. When you see that, you want to open up your main Skype menu, which is down here near your time in the lower right. And you see this window come up. And you're looking in the lower left corner underneath the green call button. Back set a little bit in the very border, these double arrows here. If you click on that, you're going to see Manage API Access Control, Name Message Magic.exe, Publish Your Message Magic Software, Not Allowed to Use Skype, and you want to change that. The other way to capture that information is to open up this red flag in the upper part of your Skype, upper right should see a red flag up here. This is your main Skype window, not one with a chat in it. If you click that, it will open and say one plugin authorization messagemagic.exe. If you click on that, you get this window. Another program wants to use Skype. And rather than telling it do not allow the program, you want to change it to allow. and then OK. Also, when you mouse over these little double arrows at the bottom, you'll see that it comes up with this message, which is not coming. Now let's try double clicking on this again, getting this Manage API Access Control and hit change. You get the same message again. Manage ABI access. Allow this program to use Skype. So either way, you hit OK. Either way you have a couple ways to get your message, ma your Skype to allow uh, connection with your message magic. you mouse over that, sometimes you get a yellow window that will tell you what APIs are in there also. Let's see if I can get that to come up. No. <laughs> so once you hit OK, you get back to the API access control page again and you can always change it back. But if you want to use your message magic, you want to allow this program to use Skype. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Happy message magic and Skyping.